All right, YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are having a great Thursday. So I decided to come out and do some fishing today. Uh, got about an hour or so, hour and a half before it get dark. I got my uh, Bass Pro Classic 200 Series reel. I mean rod, six and a half feet. Uh, it's a little old bitty reel here that I bought from Walmart, Shakespeare, real cheap. Only thing I got it for, it's the, it's the, it's the thin test line there, the high vis Mr. Crappie, um, four pound test line. All right, so I got a, I think these are called like a spinner or something. So I got one of these on, it's black, got a little blade on it, treble hook, and got some feather fur on it. So we're gonna see if we can catch any bluegills with these. Now these are my rocks. So this, the water is up, you can't see the rocks anymore. So the water's completely up where it's supposed to be, which I love it. And we're gonna cast out. And I can't let this touch the bottom because it's do, I'm gonna lose it. That's one thing I do know, it's a lot of stuff out there. So I'm gonna cast out. It goes pretty far too. Let it drop down just a little bit. Down about four or five feet. All right, on the ground, start reeling back. Now they should just tag it. When they hit that treble hook, it should just set the hook. You shouldn't have to do uh, anything special. I could be, I could have reeled that too fast. Could have. Let's see. Let's try again. Let me make sure my, uh, can I get a bass? Okay. I'm just trying something different. I've been using the worms and the, uh, way back I was using the jigs and stuff like that. So I'm just trying something different. I don't know if they'll bite this or not. I don't even know if they're aggressive enough to bite it. I know if you throw worms out there, you'll get something. I do know that. Or if a bass to hit it or something, you know? Oh, I had it. There we go. That's a bass. It gotta be a bass. Yep. There you go. So as soon as I say if a bass to hit it, bam. I know they'll hit it. That's movement. That's uh they love it, anything that's moving. Now lately I've been on these small bass. Uh I don't know. I don't mind though. I've been on these little small bass, but I don't mind. I'm having fun. Pretty little healthy bass. There you go, fish number one. Mmm. Missed that joke. That was a bass. I put money on it with a bass. Got a beetle spin here with a with a mill on it. Let's see what happens. See if anything will hit.
That's a good cast, right up, right up, right where it needs to be. Got some action in front of me. They chase them bait over here. There we go. It's a nice bass. Oh, that ain't a nice one. Took a, he hit like he was the bass of all bass. My drag ain't set right. It's a nice one though, I like it. On the old beetle spin. On the old beetle spin. There you go, guy, bass number two. Hit like he was a man. My drag ain't set right, but it's okay. That's what I like. Let's see if we can get back out there. The old beetle spin. Coming down the concrete here. Where they should be at. Maybe I'll get a one or two a two pounder, a little bit bigger than that, maybe. Ooh, I got a, I, I got a bite just then, but it was probably the bluegill. Tap that joke. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Let me get down in the water column. Bring it on back. Let's see what happens. Now I got that mineral by itself that I can fish with too. I think might do some good. I'm gonna drop down in that column. There we go. Bring it on back. Let's see if anything can take it. There we go. You guys, you see that? Bass number three. All about the same size. But I am enjoying myself. It doesn't really even matter, you guys. Just having fun. Having fun, ha having fun. On the old beetle spin, you guys. On the old beetle spin. All right. Now what I'm going to do is cast out a little bit. Just to see. That's where I saw that snake at. Right there. Mmm. Man. That was a nice hit. This one is just going to be the middle only. There we go, you guys. Bass number, bass number four. Bass number four. All right, guys, give it a try this morning. Zoom bait, 
the original trick worm watermelon red 20 pack from Walmart. It looks just like those wacky worms I was fishing with, same, same concept. That's no different. The yum wacky worms. There you go. Little, little thinner presentation. The other one was a little bit bigger. There you go. So we're gonna see if we can catch us anything this morning. But that grass everywhere down there. There we go. See, long as you stop, long as you stop it with your finger, you can stop them from from doing that bird nest or backlashing. Man. So you bass fishermen, let me know what the bass are biting on now. I'm about to get back into some bassing. Haven't brought these out in a while, you guys. Are they still on the worms, the plastics, or are they hitting rattle traps? Are they hitting um, crankbaits, brush hogs? Let me know. <clears throat> yep, that joke. Boy, I said they hook good right there. Oh, you can quit jumping, bro. It's dead power rod. I am. Right out of there. Put that Jane Wilger hook set on him. Put that Jane Wilger hook set on him. Oh yeah, when you set that hook good, I'm gonna show you guys. Give me a second here. So when you set that hook good, you guys, this what happened. Look at that hook set. Look at that. They mean to get him in the eye, but look at her. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to do some surgical. Without messing them up too bad. I got my pliers. I think, yeah. But I said they hook good though. There we go. Not too much damage. There you go. This is a nice one here. Probably about a pound and a half, right at two. There you go. Very nice one. Let's get them back in the water. Ah, it looks real good. There you go, you guys. He's gone. All right, let's get back out there, see if we can get another one. Okay, that's a great start for a Friday. A start to a Friday. That's the way I got it set up, you guys, just like that. I don't regret anything.
We got another one. A little bit of one here. A little bit of one. Nothing to brag about. But it's cool catching them this morning though. Said that hook set good boy. Look at that hook set hook set you guys right over here in the corner where it should be at. There you go. Bass number two. Let's get right back out there. I'm pulling through that grass, you guys. I'll be talking about pulling through that grass. There we go. Got me a good one here, you guys. Got me a good one. I got probably about a five pound bass here. Maybe 10. Nah, probably about a five, probably about a four or five pound bass, maybe. But I got the right rod for it though. Well, I don't know what it is. Well, you'll see here in a minute. Oh, he broke my line. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, that was about a five pound bass. God, dog. I saw it. Oh, he broke my line. He broke my line, you guys. Ooh, that hurting me right there. That hurting me right there. Maybe I didn't have a tiger enough. But that hurting me right there. That probably been my biggest bass of the year. God, dog. You guys, that was probably about a four or five pound bass. I saw it. It was a, it was a pretty nice bass, but it's all good. Part of the game. You can't catch them all. That's one thing I do know. I've been fishing for 45 years. You can't catch them all. In that grass, that was a good fish right there. But I got the right rod for it. You saw how I handled it. Like it was nothing. See if anything is hanging back here in this calm water back here. Sometimes they'll be back there. If I can find one. That wasn't the only one that was back here. Get down in that grass that's out there and just kind of relax. Wait for something to come by. Pick it up. Or engulf it. Got one. Put that hook on. I don't know if he's gonna, he's gonna try to spit it out, but I think I got him good. Put that hook head on. That side, right in the side of that jaw. Right in the side of that jaw. Here you go, you guys. Right in the side of that jaw. There you go. I'm trying not to make sure my line get tangled up. It's, it's a nice one. Very nice one here. So I think I'm just gonna take these two rods down. This right here. I think I'm gonna take these two rods down, this right here. I fish with these today. My worms and that right here, that's it. 
nothing, nothing else. And I guess I took a net. Never know, might get a big bass. I don't feel like reaching down. There we go. All right. It's gonna be it. And I'm gonna fish this little cove back here. So this is Friday. I, yesterday I went, the video you guys gonna see, yesterday I went um, after work. I went out, same time like this, by seven o'clock. And I fished with, uh, and caught some little bitty bass. And then uh, this morning on the part of the video, you're gonna see I caught some fish this morning. Uh, and then today, this evening, I'm finna fish right now. So I'm just looking around, making sure where I step at. Make sure I don't step on nothing. Nothing, nothing that's gonna scare me again. All right, we'll start right here. I'm gonna lay everything down. I brought my scale. And the battery works. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna start off casting this uh this uh beetle spin here. So I'm gonna start out casting this. I see a concrete slab right here. Well I know that's right there. I've been out here before. So see them little drain holes? The water back up. That was actually under uh on land. I could walk down there, but the water is completely full now. So we should get a little Three more bites today. I should I should get a, catch a bass here and there. Maybe get some taps from the gills with this beetle spin. I don't know if the gill are big enough back here to, to, to eat this beetle spin. I don't think they are. Oh yeah. That look good. I eat it if I were the bass. So let me get let me let it get down in the water column and get to that bottom. And it's not deep back here at all. I got a tap just then. That was probably a bluegill. Oh, got another tap. Oh, God, do oh. Yeah, them bluegill right there. God, I'm already getting excited. Y'all you, you, know me. Cast that one more time. There we go. I know I'm gonna get one eventually. They love them beetle, beetle spin. Got a little bit of one. Ain't nothing to brag about. The half pounder. First fish on the. Uh, on the beater spin. Oh, he ate that good. There you go. There you go. There we go. You see what I'm saying? That's what it could have been. He's trying to act a little. Oh, he's trying to, he's trying to do something. This, this, is, this is okay one right here. Both flip them, E. Both flip them. Yeah. That's right here is all right. That one is okay, my friend. All right, guys. There we go. Fish number two. 
healthy. All these fish are healthy out here, you guys. All of them. There you go. He's gone. Might have found a little honey hole right here with this beetle spin. Six pound, six, four pound test line, so I got my net if it get bigger than that. You boat flip them, man. And be missing them. Okay. I'm talking about they hitting good too. There we go, we got another one. Oh yeah, this is that drain hole right here, baby. You see them drain hole? That's where they hanging out at. They're not big, that's a good one. Hold on, I don't want my line. This thin line to get tangled up easy. Calm down. There we go. This thin line to get tangled up easy. I'm trying to make sure I don't tangle that up. Okay. There you go. Ooh, that's a baby. I don't know if that's a large mouth or a spotted. But see, if you can see, it's three drain holes right here. It's a big old concrete slab. They go over there to here. And drain hole, drain hole, drain hole. And it goes out. And I'm catching them in that drain hole. It's, like it's kind of like a decent sized minnow. Yeah, see, I'm feeling those little, those little, they jumping out. Oh, I'm feeling those little love taps. That's all I'm feeling. That's hanging around this concrete here. Something just jumped out there. Oh, there we go. I went and got that joke that quick. It's a baby one, though. It's a baby, baby bass, but I wouldn't got it. You saw that. I saw it jump through right out there where it's at. Bam. Little bitty baby bass. It's crazy. That's all I've been catching lately. Except for that big one I missed at work today. There we go, got another one. There we go, calm down. There we go. Drain hole fishing, baby. Drain hole bass fishing. With the meter spin. Drain hole bass fishing. With the meter spins, ladies and gentlemen. Drain hole bass fishing, baby. Let's go, let's see if we can get one more. Nope. All right, I'm gonna go somewhere else. Another spot, I don't think I'm gonna make a video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it for the night with the video on. Um, I got caught about four or five bass right here. Uh, not, not nothing to brag about, but it was pretty cool. Somebody go to another spot. Only reason why I'm not gonna video guys because I, put, I posted a video out in the past and there's a couple locals that fish there and they told me ever since I posted that video, people been coming over there and they just been trashing the place out, man. And I love sharing videos so you guys can go and catch video, catch fish. But I do notice a couple spots that I have went and fish that I've shared that it's a lot of trash there, man. So if you guys going out there off of my videos, I'm not saying you're doing it or not, but if you are off of my video, just take back everything you take out there and just keep the place clean. But that's gonna be it for tonight, you guys. As always, thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing if you do share. And uh, you guys have a great Friday night. And I'm, I'm gonna try my best to bring a great video um, Saturday or Sunday. I don't know what I'm fishing for. I got the urge for big catfish, but I also got the urge for crappies already or, or bluegills. So we'll see what happens. Good night, people. Y'all have a great one. Peace.